Hey, welcome back to Real Food Blog. I got my trusty sous chef, Avery Nicole, in the kitchen with us today. She's gonna be helping us make this potatoes gratin, okay? And there's several different ways. I think I got this recipe from Emma Lagasse a while back, but um, I modified it just a little bit. You can get this recipe on the blog, uh, I believe already. If not, I'll post it in a little while. So basically, we have an eight by eight casserole dish that's been uh, greased. You're supposed to be greasing that, Avery. Okay, and then we've got about, what, um, six or seven sliced potatoes. Uh, you use Idaho or russet potatoes, and we parboiled them in water, in salted water. And you can leave the skins on, you can leave the skins on, right, if you want to. Uh, or you can peel them, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you leave the skins on to rinse them, of course. And um, this helps the potatoes cook faster, and it keeps them from turning if you're, if you're not going to use them right away, too, by the way. Okay, so just cut them about a half inch to a quarter inch in thickness. The thicker you cut them, the longer they take to cook, okay? And by parboiling, that just takes the cooking time down a little bit, okay, in the oven. So basically, um, we have about a half a cup of milk, some Parmesan or Pecorino Romano cheese, um, we have half a white onion that's been diced, okay? Now that's milk, Avery. And we've got uh, a little bit of green onion for garnish, uh, two, three cloves of chopped garlic. We're gonna layer each uh, layer of these potatoes with garlic, a little bit of chopped parsley, about a quarter of a cup of chopped parsley, Italian chopped parsley. And we have about a half a cup of flour that we're gonna use, like I said, hey, Avery, leave that alone, baby. We need this here, okay? We need for the recipe. I'll get you, yeah. you get your baba if you want to, okay? Yeah. You can go get it, but you have to get down and go get it to, to do that, okay? And then we've got about two tablespoons of butter we're gonna add at the very end, salt, pepper. And then a thing that's optional with this, you don't have to do it. If you have some breadcrumbs, you can do a, a breadcrumb topping. To do this, you just add the breadcrumbs, a little bit of olive oil to the top, okay? So, so they crisp up nice and crispy. That's just optional, you can do that. And any cheese you can use. I'm just using Parmesan because that's what we've got. And then so basically what we do, and you forgot to grease this, Avery. So Daddy will do it for you, okay? Let's stick on this chair, otherwise we're gonna have to go down. So I hope Daddy do this. So we're just gonna grease this up, okay? You wanna do that? Good job, Avery. Normally I would have done this beforehand, but I forgot, okay? So we got that greased up. Okay, good job, Avery. And then we got these potatoes. We're gonna start layering these potatoes in the bottom of this pan. Use about an eight by eight Pyrex for about seven, or about six to seven medium-sized potatoes. Okay, thank you. Good job, you're doing great. Okay, so now we're gonna put a little bit of flour down. Okay, this helps thicken the sauce when you're cooking. A little bit of salt. Yeah, salt. Good job, Avery. A little bit of pepper. I'm gonna do that. Some cheese. Okay. Uh, a little bit of parsley. It's gonna go on each layer. A little bit of garlic. It's gonna go on each layer. You like the garlic? Uh, you love garlic, huh? A little bit of onion gonna go on each layer. Okay, and then we're just gonna repeat this process and continue to build this, and then we'll show you the next step right here on Real Food Block. Hey, we're back and we've layered it completely. And let's just give you a close up here if we can, right? Let's check it out. So it's got all the layers, it's got the, the butter on there. We've added a little more than half a cup of milk, probably like three quarters of a cup, full cup of milk. Okay, so now at this point, right, uh, Avery's tasted it, she coughed, so she doesn't know if she's gonna eat it, but you like garlic and potatoes and cheese. Well, okay, we'll see. All right, and uh, bake this off in the oven at 350, and we'll probably show you what it looks like at the end here. Um, otherwise, we'll just post a pic on the blog. Hey, thank you for watching Real Food Blog. Thank you for, yes, thank you for watching Real Food Blog. Thank you for joining Real Food Blog. From our family years, we'll see you next time right here. I'm going to feel blocked. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>